Good morning, Wolves, and welcome to your Wellness Monday advisory lesson. Um, I'm Miss Vargas. I'm your school social worker. And I'm Miss Kay, your school psychologist. Um, and we are so excited to introduce you to what Wellness Monday is all about. So um, during our times together, we will focus on a curriculum called ASSET. Um, ASSET curriculum is a really great way for us to learn a little bit more about ourselves and a little bit more about how to take care of ourselves during the school day. Um, today, all you're gonna need is a taking stock of stress worksheet that your advisor has and a writing utensil, unless if you're using your computer today. So once a week on Mondays for the rest of the school year, we're going to press pause on academics and focus our mental wellness by learning concrete stress reduction tools. Why do you think we're prioritizing mental health? Advisors, feel free to pause the video and take some student volunteers. Nearly one in three teenagers will experience anxiety by the age of 18, and school is a big source of this anxiety. A case study in Colorado Colorado found that 85% of students reported experiencing stress and or anxiety caused by school on a daily basis. Over 90% reported that their school does not help them cope. My solution or our solution to this problem is called asset. We can't change what happens during the school day, but we can change how we respond to stress and anxiety. So for about five to 10 minutes per week, we are going to explore a variety of stress management tools so that you can figure out what helps you reduce your stress. Thanks, Ms. Kay. Um, so I figured today we could talk about the brain science of stress. Um, and you know the way that I like to do this is I like to use Dr. Dan Siegel's hand model. Um, and so students, if you wanna follow along with if this video you can advisors you guys already know how to do this so feel free to show your advisories as well but basically we're going to get into some brain science right now so stress is inevitable and our brains and bodies are biologically designed to respond to it dr dan siegel who's an expert in adolescent anxiety uses a hand model for his brain to help us kind of understand the science of stress and so we're going to use this hand model to help us understand more. So Ms. Kay, do you want to do this with me together? I sure do. Fabulous. Okay, so your hand is what we will use to represent your brain. On the inside of your brain, which is represented by the thumb, this is called your limbic system. Your limbic system has a lot of different parts of the brain. One of the big things is the amygdala. This is your alarm center of the brain. This is what starts firing when you feel fight, flight, or freeze, or when you feel really stressed or anxious or panicky. So go ahead and take a moment and turn and talk to one of your classmates or advisees and just see if anyone has ever experienced that feeling of fight or flight or freeze and kind of how you typically respond, fight, flight, or freeze when you're stressed. Advisors, you can pause here. All right. Coming back, so when we experience something stressful, we know that our limbic system will start to fire. This happens maybe when you are sitting in front of a test and your mind goes blank, but this can also happen if you're in a situation in which you feel really nervous or scared for a real reason. So when your hand is closed and your fingernails are touching your palm, this is what represents the prefrontal cortex. When our hand is closed and our brain is closed like this, this is when we feel really calm and confident and we're able to really think through different things that are going on in our lives. The prefrontal cortex is what helps us be a really strong student in school. And so when our brains are calm, we feel good in school. When our brain starts to like open because our limbic system is firing, that's when we start to experience this feeling of our lid flipping. And we're thinking with our amygdala and our limbic system and not so much with our prefrontal cortex. All right, so asset tools help bring your lid back down so that when you are feeling stressed, 
you can get your prefrontal cortex back online and so you can use it to think and return back to a state of calm. All right, so Miss Kay, do you want to take over this part? Sure, so even though everybody's brains are wired for the biological stress response, our bodies all respond to stress differently. It's important to know how your body responds to stress so that you can do something about it. Right now, your advisors are going to distribute the taking stock of your stress worksheet. On your worksheet, you'll have two minutes to take stock of how you typically respond to stress. Advisors, feel free to go ahead and pause our video here. Now that we are aware of how our bodies respond to stress, we will begin to explore the stressors that activate these responses. We will need to be able to name our stress to tame our stress. This will take time and we will continue exploring our stressors throughout the year. Let's begin now by focusing on our school-related stressors. On the back of your worksheet, take two minutes to identify your academic stressors by circling all of the stressors that apply to you. When you start to see patterns in your stressors, you'll be able to anticipate what triggers stress for you so that you will be better equipped to cope with your stressors. Advisors, feel free to pause again so that your students are able to circle their stressors. All right, welcome back. We hope that you learned a lot through completing this worksheet and we'll continue to work through this throughout the school year. So for today, we'd just love for you to turn and talk to your seat partner and discuss one strategy you currently use to manage stress. Advisors, you can go ahead and pause the video here. So in closure, every Monday, we'll be working on our asset skills and learning new tools for coping. We'll focus on mindfulness first in the first trimester. In the second trimester, we'll focus on positive psychology. And the third trimester, we'll focus on positive self-talk. We'll have other types of lessons throughout the school year to meet different themes and events that are happening throughout the school year. But we are really excited to bring you this curriculum so that you can learn different ways to help yourself stay calm and engaged in classes. Right, Ms. Kay? Right, Ms. Vargas. And now that you've learned to tame your stress, we're going to learn different ways to help you tame your stress. In the asset program, we're going to explore different ways that we can help do this and we're going to do this every Monday, just like Ms. Vargas said. Thank you, everyone, for talking to us today. Bye, guys. Have a great day, um, and we hope to see you again soon next Monday for our Wellness Monday morning meeting.